always want to go to church on Sunday. Don't get on my knees to pray. Don't memorize the books of the Bible. Got my own special way. And I thought fucking Yuck Yuck's an interesting name for a comedy club because they just named the club after the fucking sounds that come out of the club. You know, what they started doing now with other clubs and bars in Vancouver, then you'd be saying to your friends, hey, I'm going down to Granville Street to that bar. You know the place, it's called... And when you work on a dishwashing crew, and you are Canadian born and English speaking, your co workers that have had to claw their way through the third world to get here and have PhD in microbiology think you're fucking retarded. It's been nice talking to you, Don. I really didn't think. Like, I go to church and synagogue just in case. I do, and I am so happy that you are here. This fucking Sunday morning, I'm coming back. Thank you. Don't forget to leave the back door open, God. <laughs> Whenever I'm bored in the mall, I like to go into that store at Claire's and count how many times I hear, oh my God, or totally. And if that isn't enough to turn my crank, I like to go into another store in the mall called Lids that only sells hats. And I like to count how many times I hear, I'm a douchebag. This is a soft lip kiss in Texas, hot top washed down with whiskey that drips little wishes of red dress ripped from your sweat stained skin. This is fatigue and frenzy making stop clock empty feelings of wanting to build four walls and a ceiling using a The pen is truly murdering this sword, right? I believe that. Because you never expect me to stab with a pen. <laughs> Like, you've been walking down the street, and you're like, oh, oh, oh. And someone comes at you with a sword, you're like, oh my god, I'm about to have some stab wounds in me. But when you have a pen lodged in your side, you're genuinely surprised. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys realize this, but what the fuck am I gonna do with a curling iron? I told her, I'm like, Mom, you realize my hair is naturally curly, right? She's like, oh, I know, sweetheart. I just thought maybe you could use it to make your hair a little nicer and straighter. Well, excuse me, Mom, but if you wanted me to have nicer, straighter hair, then maybe you shouldn't have gotten knocked up by such a black man. <laughs> Is anyone here in a relationship right now, currently? Yeah. <laughs> the guys are like, yeah. They're like, yes, I feel filled, dripping nipples, me. Alright, um, this song is for Jeff because it's his favorite, I think. It's called, it's, um, it's all up to you. Well, I never expect to be playing accordion here at the Roxy, strangely. They haven't had any for a while. There were some problems last time. An Oktoberfest like never before. <laughs> One time I was so pissed off and he's like, can you spare some change? And you see me every day for like two fucking years. And I was like, you know what, man? Last a couple of pennies and I was like, you know what, man? I can't spare some change. I'm an amateur comic fucking living off about $500 a month. I got nothing. Oh yeah, did I mention my wife's pregnant? I'm going down, down $40,000 in student loans for a fucking degree I'm not even using. So I got a question for you, motherfucker. <laughs> Can you spare some change? <laughs> Cause I'm all tapped out. It's done. Got it. Got it.